So we're starting off today's episode having finally escaped Silver 3. Um, what we do in each episode is we spin a wheel and whatever champion we get we have to play three games with a deck made of that specific champion. Um, our goal is to climb ladder of course and we started this series exactly where we are right now. <laughs> we went from Silver 3 all the way down to Silver 4 and then now back to Silver 3. Um, so, <laughs> it's been a journey, but we're here now, and hopefully we get out of silver in general, <laughs> because, yeah, this is just shit. Anyway, we're gonna spin the wheel right now and see what we get. So again, um, if I've rolled uh, a champion that I've played already, I have the choice to re-roll, but I don't have to. Um, the champions we played, LeBlanc, Kindred, Jarvan. Aurelian Soul, and then last week we played Fizz. So those five champions. If I roll any other champion, I have to stick with it. Let's go. Okay. Um, this is easy. I'm going to be playing uh, a Nightfall deck with Nocturne. I might go Nocturne Aphelios, I might go Nocturne Diana, I just don't know yet, but we'll see. So ultimately I decided to go with Diana, um, because Aphelios got nerfed, and I honestly feel like Aphelios' nerfs are big enough where he probably won't be as competitive as he used to be. Um, unlike the Twisted Fade nerfs, which I think were just like love taps, the Aphelios nerf is pretty strong. Um, so, also I've never really played Diana ever, I literally just crafted her right now. Um, so I think it's good to learn about her. Um, this deck obviously revolves around our two champions, Night Nocturne and uh, Diana. Um, we are also using the new, um, like obviously nightfall cards but i decided to put evershade stalker in this because in general i think this card is good enough where it can just max out diana and nocturne in like one go if i have enough mana um interesting card i don't think it's like the craziest card but i think it's just good for these cards specifically um other than that, I think this is just a typical Nightfall deck. Nothing new there. Um, again, we're starting off today being in Silver 3. Let me just check something real quick. See, I wonder if I should put the Sky Shadows in it. I'm debating if I should put Sky Shadows into this, but at the same time, I don't think it's necessary. Um, yeah, whatever. We'll just leave it as it is. So again, we're starting off today at rank 3, 26 LP. I have not seen any decks that use a pure Nightfall build. Um, the only Nightfall cards you see are in burn decks, but we'll see. First game against Shen Jarvan. Now Jarvan got buffed, and with Jarvan's buffs... Um, I wonder if he's going to be more viable, but I don't know, at the same time. Um, they play a lot of elites in a Jarvan deck, so our goal is to get a lot of our lower cost cards. I am one with the land. If he blocks and uses a, a spell, that's even better. But obviously, it's just not smart to do that at all. Break their spirits and their souls. You call this a fight? I don't know if I should do this, but we'll go with it. Now 
Now I can level up Diana right now if I go one, two, and three. But I don't know if that's worth it. I walk the space between worlds. It's stupid of him to summon Shen. If he doesn't summon, I can get. Yeah, okay. If he doesn't attack, I mean, I can get uh, Diana to level up really fast. If you use this spell to buff this, even better. If he doesn't, this levels up and stays alive, and yeah, he's basically dead. So when this levels up, Nocturne dies, they all get fearsome. Again, beautiful animations as always. All these guys get fearsome and he can't block unless he uses this spell. Then again, maybe I shouldn't have done that, but whatever. I was wondering why he was attacking like that. Probably would have been smarter to. Oh shit, that's bad. Because he gets cataclysm every round. I'm just a bit confused. Why didn't this challenge my... that? The block of both. Who dares defy my will? It's fine. Uh, 
Don't emote until it's over. Don't emote until it's over. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I don't think this deck has any healing, right? Water changes, but never breaks. This card is so good, Unto Dusk, with Nightfall cards in general. It's amazing. The fact that this is bur burst is kind of crazy. And you can just do it right here. Okay, um, my initial thoughts is that this is actually, I don't know if it was the deck I was going up against that wasn't as good, but this is actually a really good deck. Um, I don't know why I haven't seen it, like, that much around a Nocturne and Diana deck, but at the same time, Nightfalls always have the perception of being a bit shit, to say the least, um, especially lately, but it's not that bad. I don't think it's as bad as what people made it to be. At least from what I understand. Now this is a deck I haven't seen in a while as well. Uh, Victor and Heimer. Um, last season this deck was pretty hyped before the set came out because Victor was like automatically assumed to be good with Heimer. And maybe it is, but it just... I haven't really seen the potential of it yet. Yeah. Just these two. Humanity is obsolete. I'm summing this because if he attacks, you can just do that. This card is actually not bad for setting up my night files, I just realized, because it gives you a one cross card. I don't know why I've never seen this art before. Beautiful arts, as always, the six by vod six more vodka, whatever his name is. Extremely talented. We attack if he blocks, which he's not going to. Yeah, that sucks. But at least I got him to waste his uh, aftershock on this. This is just a trigger nightfalls for Diana. I'm so dumb, it creates... <laughs> I'm so dumb. It creates an ephemeral copy of it. I am so dog at this game. <laughs> um... <laughs> that sucks so badly. <laughs> and having 10 of these doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Doing this for draw and obviously keeping it alive. Use the ephemeral just so I can block. Can you 
This deck runs Shadow Isles, so it could run Atrocity. As in they buff this card up like crazy and just go in for it. This is going to be a bit tough, but because luckily I have Nocturne for their Heimer. Heimer is always a priority. Nocturne and this are crazy because it just keeps getting you everyone to reduce their um uh, their attack by once. If I can survive this next round I think I can win. But it does not seem likely that that's gonna be the case. He probably should just open attack, yeah. Drag this here, maybe. I'm dead because he probably has an atrocity in his hand, maybe. Never mind. Ephemeral, so okay. Mother moon veil me. Genius in action. Ingenious. The moon is our queen, the night, her kingdom. Embrace the night. Metal is perfection. I'm probably really dead, but I just want to see what's going to happen. Nocturne would be beautiful. Oh, uh, that's not bad actually. That's not bad at all. Go 
light grows brighter. Drawing that is huge right now. I have eight puff caps. Oh, there's a lot of top decks that will help me. There's a lot of them that don't. three here if he challenges I can probably reduce this to a two sorry at three because it's upgraded Whew, that is not one of the top decks if he attacks right now I'm in a bit of a predict yeah I don't think I can do this The fact that he challenged these and not this. I'm pretty sure he has me dead, but we will see. I could just draw like all the puff caps right here. One. Yeah, that's it. I just need to draw one and I'm dead. Oh man. Tough game. Really tough game. I think that match came down to. I don't know what it came down to, honestly, <laughs> but that was a tough, tough game. Really tough game. 1-1. One, one. That game could have been won if I had drawn the card that triggers a nightfall of a card. Because I could have gone the Doom Beast to be activated. I should have used the uh, Minions Can Block card in the previous turn. Maybe maybe then it would have worked, but either way, that was a tough game. So, more Jarvan. Um, because Jarvan is buffed, everyone wants to see how Jarvan works. Again, I misplayed as well in the previous game by using um, that card that gives you an ephemeral copy of a card. That was just terrible. <laughs> that's probably where I misplayed, because that's probably forest damage right there. First time playing Nightfalls, if you can tell. I don't have a, a way to trigger my nightfall here, so this is weird. That was, I don't know if that's the right move there, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Maybe I should have just summoned this, honestly, but I don't know. No time to form up. Ride. Glory and relentless. I'm 
ready enough. Just thinking. Embrace the night. Perfect card to draw. This will give this fear some, right? Which means he can't block with anything else. He can have a lot of strikes for this, but... Yeah. Or that. That also works. That's a bit tough. ephemeral I'm so bad at this game man I still win but like that's so bad <laughs> look at the misplace oh misplace central but it's okay How will my people remember me? does this rally no it doesn't right okay yeah it's over Oh man, tough, tough, tough. It's a good card. It's a bit too expensive though. But it has spell shield. That is pretty good. I feel sorry for this man. Sorry. I didn't deserve to win that. But I won it though. <laughs> Um, I really like these Nightfall cards. Like, really like these Nightfall cards. If I had a choice on what deck I'd be climbing, I would probably fix up this deck and climb. It is such a fun deck. Um, I don't know. So, we started today at, uh, 20... I think we're at 56 right now so my overall feelings on the Nightfall cards I think they're really really good um, my only thing is and I was debating this in the beginning if I should have put in Atrocity 
because one thing with Diana, it gets so strong, so fast with this. And there was one situation I thought of if I had atrocity here. This was at maybe like seven, or sorry, eight, seven. It was at seven attack, and atrocity would have just won me the game. Um, along with that, I think this card is not that good because it's pretty expensive. Um, as for what I would replace it with, maybe another Moonlight Fiction, but if that's not the case, then honestly, I would have put the um, these in the deck. I would take these, this out, and maybe a few of these and put these in because I have certain points I had a really hard time setting up my Nightfall and this is the best setup for Nightfall you could possibly get. Dustbringer of course. Um, other than that I think this was like a really solid deck. Really solid deck. Um, yeah that's this episode. Um, we upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday and if anyone liked what they saw hopefully you stick around hopefully you subscribe and we'll see you next week well next upload date whenever that is we'll see you